Hello, McNair Theater. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am going to be walking you through your um, settings and emotions pantomime assignment. And so let's go ahead and get started. I hope you guys are not tired of pantomime yet. I love pantomime. So um, I hope that you guys will enjoy practicing the activities in today's lesson. Um, I want to remind everybody that we are still working on TEKS 2A and 2F. 2A is demonstrating uh, the safe use of the voice and body, and TEK 2F is practice using the body to create characters, environments, and actions. So when you open up your assignment, it should look like this. You should see the little pennant flags at the top, and then the background is blue. You're going to begin by answering your top three questions that we always have on my assignments, your school email address, your theater class period, and then your last name comma first. Um, I just want to remind you guys, it really, really is helpful when you put your last name comma first name. This makes it easier for me to alphabetize and grade your assignments. And so if you all would help me out by doing that, I would really, really, really appreciate it. So um, once you've answered those top three questions, go ahead and hit next. For your warm up today, you are going to be stretching like just like we have been um, in our previous lessons in um, once we've started, you know, working on pantomime. Um, we have our uh, flexibility exercises that we've been using in class. And then we have a five minute timer so that you can keep accurate time of how long you have been stretching. Um, go ahead and pause this video right now so that you can stretch. Um, and then once you're done, you come back. Go ahead and mark whatever stretches you did. Remember, you do not need to do every single stretch. And of course, you are welcome to do any other stretches that are not listed here. Um, but please do make use of the five minute timer and um, stretch for the full five minutes. Once you've marked your stretches and finished stretching, you can go ahead and click next. So for our activities today, we're gonna to start out with watching um, a short video. This video is actually like a really, really long video of a whole production. I do not want you to watch the whole entire video. Um, when you click on the video, when you click play, it's going to start at a certain part of the video. Over here, it's a lot of stories. Um... If you'd like to make the video bigger, you can always click on the title and it will open up YouTube uh, hosts, uh, in a different window. First automobile is going to be coming by here in about five years time, along to Banker Carter. And so um, what I want you to pay attention to specifically in this video is look for um, how are they using pantomime to tell the audience where they are. Once you've watched about three minutes or so of the video, um, you can go ahead and tell me where do you think the scene we watched is taking place and how do you know that it is taking place at that scene at that uh, time um, or at that in that location I'm sorry um, I was paying attention to the timing of the video but your the question is how um, do we know that scene is taking place where it is taking place what are they doing what actions are they showing that give us clues about where they are and what they're doing once you have answered that question you're going to get into the main part of our lesson for today so today we have or last week we have worked on basically isolating different ways to pantomime we've done facial expressions we've done different actions to show different locations and now what we're doing is we're putting the two together and making sure that we are showing both our location as well as an emotion or feeling in our pantomime and so what we're doing is we are creating specific setting pantomimes. And so the setting is the where and the specific part is whatever emotion you are trying to show in that situation. And so I have some ideas of different situations and emotions together that you can show here. Um, and so like the first one, through a rainstorm looking for your dog. Well, the location would be, that we would have to show would be raining. Um, and then looking for a lost dog is the emotional part. I think we can all relate um, 
to maybe losing a pet or even just a valuable item and how it makes us feel until we find that thing again. Um, and so with every single situation you have listed here, we have across a wide, a wide river, um, through a forest at night when you're lost and afraid, um, across a stage bowing in front of the audience. The idea here is you'll be showing a specific place along with a specific emotion. And so what I want you all to do at home is follow along with my videos. I have five examples for you. So five of the different um, settings that are on this slide. I've made short videos showing you how I would pantomime that location and situation. What I want you to do is watch each video and practice doing those pantomime um, actions as well as the facial expressions along with me. Um, again, if you click play on the video and you click the title, it will open up in a larger um, screen in a different tab. And so you're gonna watch and practice all five videos. And then once you have done that, you are going to pick a setting that you will record yourself doing. Um, you can choose one of the ones I did in my examples, or you can choose one of the ones I didn't do for examples, or you can pick um, your own situation if you would like to. And so again, the idea here is in your recording, I want to see you doing actions that show where we are, and facial expressions that match with whatever emotion your character is feeling. That is what I will be looking for when I grade your Flipgrid. So in this box, you are going to tell me what is the location and feeling that you are going to be pantomiming. And then this is where you will post your response to Flipgrid. You get to Flipgrid by clicking on the blue link. It will open up into um, a Flipgrid board or topic and um, you will click join with Google to use your Southwest ISD school email um, information to log in. And that's where you will record your video. Um, once you have recorded, if there are other videos already up from your classmates, your job is to comment on their video and try and guess um, what situation that they are trying to act out in their pantomime. Um, be kind with each other on the videos. Remember, we want positive comments only. Um, no um, hateful, negative, or rude comments, please, because otherwise that will affect your grade. And so once you have done those two things, once you have posted your video on Flipgrid and commented on someone else's video, go ahead and give yourself the check marks. And then the last thing you will do today is um, tell me in your own words, why is it important to show both your setting or location and your emotion um, with your body while you are doing a pantomime? Why is it important to do both of those things? Um, once you give me your answer, you will click the teal um, submit button right here and you are done for today. I hope that you found this video helpful. I cannot wait to see um, your emotions and settings that you come up with for your Flipgrid assignment. Um, Remember, I am always here to help if you need help or are having issues with posting. Remember, you can also, if you are uncomfortable posting to Flipgrid, you can also send videos directly to me um, through either my email, um, sharing it with me on Google Drive, or um, even through Remind. And so I want to remind you guys that that option is there for you. Um, let me know if you want to send your video to me in a different way, or if you need help um, figuring out how to send your video. Um, that's it for today, guys. Remember, today is a great day. You are in control of you. And every day is a new day to try your best. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.